Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living nostalgia boo-boo stain. Off of that subscribe button, swing, climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. So we've got some really interesting news that Konami just dropped a load on on their uh, booster pack portion of their website, and that is that they're re-releasing some old packs. So we've got Legend of Blue Eyes, L-O-B, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, and Invasion of Chaos, all releasing on 7-14-2023 worldwide, and then 7-12-2023 uh, at your local OTS stores. Now, hopefully my screen recording is actually recording what I just clicked on, which is the uh, Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack. Uh, but for whatever reason, if you can't see it, it says here, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon was the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game booster set ever released. For years, you could only get your hands on these coveted packs as part of the Legendary Collection. But now, just in time to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the card game, they're being made available as standalone booster packs. That has me worried. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon was notable not just for being the first booster set, but also for introducing... Famous cards like Exodia the Forbidden One, as well as incredible spell cards like Pot of Greed and Raigeki. This printing will feature both secret rares from the set. The complete Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon says 126 cards, 82 commons, 22 rares. They had rares back then. 10 super rares, 10 ultra rares, and 2 secret rares. I don't believe that there were ultimate rares um, in Yu-Gi-Oh! yet. But that has me interested because... Let me go ahead and click on Invasion of Chaos here. Does this include the ultimate rares? It only includes the 10 Ultras and 2 Secrets. So, right out of the gate, they're not... Obviously, they changed Magic Ruler to Spell Ruler, for those of you who don't know. Uh, yeah, no, they're not including the um, the Ultimate Rares, I guess. At least from Invasion of Chaos and, and Spell Ruler. I don't know if those sets had Ultimate Rares or not. I could be wrong. But, I'm really excited for this, but I'm also really scared. And let me tell you why. So, if you haven't kept up with, like walmart and stuff like that how they've done like the mystery power boxes but like a few years ago i don't even know that they even still do them anymore but people were saying to stay away from that product because the what i'm going to call the retro packs that you got if i remember correctly were unlimited edition runs like you weren't getting first edition um like i remember selling a seven tools of the bandit ultra Rare that i pulled for like ten dollars to one of my ots stores but I think it was an unlimited. It wasn't a first edition. My my store, the, the OTS store I went to still bought it. But besides the point, if you're looking for like first edition and stuff like that, you weren't going to get that out of these mystery power boxes. The other thing is too, is that these packs are $4.49 per pack. You're still getting nine cards per pack, but they're really upping the price on the packs. I mean, you look at something like, uh, what, Darkwing Blast was, how much was that per pack? That was oh, okay. That was also four forty nine. For some reason, I thought that it, um, they were raising the price on just these. But okay, I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. So they're they're core set pack prices, which is is fine. Still though, almost five bucks. That's a little bit insane. But regardless, what has me also worried though is that the Konami is saying that these are going to be individual packs. Like let, let let me see if I can uh, find it here. Yeah, as standalone booster packs. So if I want to go to my OTS store and buy a case of Legend of Blue Eyes, number one, is it going to be the unlimited run? Number two, if it is going to be first edition, does this mean that my OTS store is going to charge me six figures? I'm talking a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a case of LOB. Because right now, if you wanna get a case of LOB on the secondary market, like I'm talking like you gotta go on eBay and stuff, you're talking like 120 to $150,000 for a case of LOB. You want one box, just one box of first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon is $15,000, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't nobody gonna be paying that baby back bullshit price. So what has me worried is Number one, the quality control in these packs. We've had quality control issues. How is that going to stand up? Number two, is this going to be an unlimited run or is it going to be a first edition run? Because if it's going to be a first edition run, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the prices are going to go to the moon. The prices are going to explode because this, oh my Lord, is going to just explode. On top of that, when they re-release these packs, are they still going to keep the same, uh, I guess, design, for lack of a better term, and also the um, card numbered in the sets? So, like, for example, in Legend of Blue Eyes, you had some card sets that were like EN001. 
if let's say I pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon out of Legend of Blue Eyes in this re-release, will it still have that card numbering of EN001 or is it going to have like EN0154? Where, if that's the case, then the original Blue Eyes, they came out in the original run of LOB back in 2002, that's still going to be worth a lot of money. And on top of that, if you notice too, like how they do like vanilla monsters and stuff, that is very different from, okay, sorry about that, my recording just suddenly cut out. Um, but what I was going to say was, if you pay attention to how they do uh, like vanilla monsters, how they have like the darker, like white background on the card is it gonna look like the new way that they do cards or is it gonna look like the og so there's a lot of questions surrounding this the set size is 126 i don't know if that was the original or not i'm assuming that it was and i think from an investment standpoint there is potentially a shit ton of money to be made here but the problem is is that if konami is just not just re-releasing the set but making the cards their own in like this i guess re-release run it just has me worried that it's not going to be a first edition run i hope that it is a first edition run because i think that will drop the prices overall on lob as a whole but just to be able to have a case of lob to sit on would be disgusting i'm straight up just buying a case of lob i'm gonna straight up do it. i'm gonna buy a case of lob i may even buy a case of invasion of chaos and open it uh you know on uh on uh youtube if i could talk today and like we'll have fun with it but from an investing standpoint if you want to make thousands of dollars potentially you need to buy up a case of lob just leave one for your boy because you know i want to make some money too <laughs> so but besides that there's still a lot of questions around this and i hope that konami gives us that info soon so guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments below and i will see you in the next video